In the 1970s, the third incarnation of the Doctor, played by John Pertwee, was exiled on Earth without the use of his regular mode of transport, and so he acquired a vintage-looking car that was then modified to befit a stranded Time Lord. Thought by many fans to be lost to the scrapyard, this piece of television history is now on display alongside other genuine on-screen cars. Whilst at the National Motor Museum, I stumbled on a new addition to the on-screen cars display. In a gallery that includes Mr Bean's Mini and one of the Bond cars, now stands a vehicle fit for a Time Lord. Well, this is Bessie, so this is Doctor Who's car. And everyone remembers Doctor Who was riding around in the TARDIS through time and space. But in the 70s, he was stranded on Earth for a while. And so John Pertwee's Doctor had his veteran car, Bessie, which he drove around in for the series. So it looks like a proper veteran car from the early days of the 20th century, but actually underneath it's a 1950s Ford Popular. So what they did was they took the original body off and they put this fiberglass uh, replica vintage body on top to make it look like it was a much older machine. So they bought this in for 1970 and they kept with it, they kept it going, they put a different engine in, they lengthened the nose, they've done a few things to it but it's still the same car that John Pertwee drove and it was used in different episodes through the 70s and 80s and last appeared on the show in 1993, so it had quite a long career. Now this is no ordinary motor vehicle as the Doctor himself made a few additions to the car. He did, yes. The Doctor liked to tinker with the car and to add his own um, time and space type modifications. So he fitted a, an anti-theft force field, so anyone who tried to steal the car would be trapped in a magnetic field and couldn't get away and there was uh, an anti-inertia type um, device fitted which meant that you didn't need seat belts if you stopped abruptly you just stayed perfectly on the, in your seat so it was, uh, there were a few um, things which us humans can't really understand but time lords know all about a few things have happened to bessie over the years and so we don't have an anti-theft force field on her anymore but uh, but she's not going anywhere tucked away here in on-screen cars at Beaulieu. All of these vehicles here are the real deal. They've been used in TV and film, so we've got one of the minis used in Mr Bean, we've got one of the Reliant Regal Supervans used in Only Fools and Horses, one of the Harry Potter Ford Anglers, the actual um, James Bond villain car from Die Another Day, we've got the uh, BMW Isetta bubble car from Heartbeat, and we've got the little, um, little Piaggio from uh, the Absolutely Fabulous movie. Bessie was thought by many fans to be lost to a scrapyard somewhere on Gallifrey. However, the National Motor Museum have agreed to look after her, at least until she's needed by the doctor once more. I understand that uh, people have been wondering uh, where, what happened to Bessie, where she's been, and uh, now that she's resurfaced at Bewley, hopefully people will come and see her. So she's on loan from the BBC, who obviously produced the programme, so they've had her tucked away for a little while. You can't really restore a vehicle like this. Every little mark and knock on her is, is testament to the filming that's happened. She, and she's been driven by John Pertwee, by Tom Baker, by Sylvester McCoy. So if you restored her, you'd take away a lot of that exciting history. This is Richard Stringer for That's TV.